चैप्टर नाइन वर्किंग विथ एरे एंड स्ट्रिंग इट्स अ टेन मार्क्स चैप्टर सो लेट स्टार्ट दैट क्वेश्चन आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज डैश आर यूजफुल टू रिप्रेजेंट द वेक्टर मैट्रिक्स एंड अदर मल्टी डायमेंशनल डेटा सो आंसर इज बी एरेज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू डैश इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट द टू डायमेंशनल डेटा स्ट्रक्चर लाइक टेबल और रोज एंड कॉलम्स राइट सो आंसर इज सी इट इज अ मैट्रिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ईच एलिमेंट इज आइडेंटिफाई बाई एन डैश पोजिशन एसोसिएटेड विथ एरे वेरिएबल सो आंसर इज ए इंडेक्स पोजिशन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इट इज विच इज द वे एन एरे ऑब्जेक्ट कैन बी क्रिएटेड राइट सो आंसर इज सी बोथ एंड बी राइट सो यूजिंग न्यूली ऑपरेटेड एंड द स्पेसिफाइंग द साइज एंड डायरेक्टली इनिशियलाइजिंग द कंटेंट ऑफ एरे सो आंसर इज सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इट इज ए इंस्टेड ऑफ द डिक्लेरिंग द इंडिविजुअल वेरिएबल्स लाइक मार्क्स वन मार्क्स टू मार्क्स थ्री मार्क्स फोर मार्क्स फाइव वन कैन बी डिक्लेयर एरे लाइक ए ऑप्शन मार्क्स इन स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज टू डिक्लेयर अ डैश एरे अ पैर ऑफ स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स इज यूज आफ्टर एरे नेम और आफ्टर डेटा टाइप सो आंसर इज वन डी एरे देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन द सिंटेक्स ऑफ सिंटेक्स टू डिक्लेयर एरे इज एज फॉलोज यू कैन डिक्लेयर लाइक दिस एंड दिस वे राइट सो द आंसर इज सी बोथ ए एंड B. Question number eight. It is integer of int data types uses dash bytes storage space. So it's a four bytes storage space. Right answer C. Four. Question number nine is index value starts from D option zero. Index value should start from zero. Question number ten. It is uh, Which of the following it is the correct uh, initialization of the 1D array? Right, it is uh, the both A and B. This is the correct option. This and this way you add, right, and uh, define in the one array. Okay, question number 11. It is uh, method short and the math and the fill are the part of the dash class, right? So it is uh, Java dot util dot arrays class. Question number twelve. It is uh, int max in the two square bracket is equal to new space integer five by three, and then the logical value of the array element. It is a table of. It is the table of five rows by three columns. Question number thirteen. It is index value start with. Right, so it is start with the zero. It is repeat question. Then. Question number fourteen. We string. It is nothing but it is the sequence of C characters. And question number fifteen. It is uh, dash literals are the where a sequence of the characters it is enclosed between the double quotes. And so answer is A. String. Question number sixteen. String without uh, arguments create a dash objects with no character. Right, so answer is a string. Question number seventeen. It is the string or the string literals uh, creates a string dash, which is the same as object specified in argument. Right, so answer is c object. Question number eighteen. In the Java characters are stored using dash bytes. Right, so it is uh, stored by using the two bytes. Question number nineteen. it is uh, to save the space if the characters are dash and arrays of bytes should be used instead of array of characters so answer is a ascii american standard code for information interchange then question number 20 is uh, the separate memory it is allocated when string objects are declared using dash operators even if strings are in uh, identical right so answer is b new operator right after that 21 it is method int space uh, dash returns number of characters in invoking string 
that's the answer is b by using the length then question number 22 it is with the array variable length is and dash or property of array so answer is a attribute question number 23 it is java library also provides a dash class in java.util package that's the answer is d date class question number 24 dash class encapsulates both date and time and represents the value using the milliseconds uh, precision then then question 24th answer is d date question number 25 it is like date class dash class is also provided in java.util package right so answer is b calendar class and question number 26 desk class can be used to extract the calendars information like the year month date hours minute and seconds and so answer is b again the calendar class question number 27 array elements are stored in dash and so answer is a sequential memory location question number 28 it is arrays is used to represent the following Right. It is a list of data items of same data type. Question number 29. It is uh, an array A in square bracket. It will store how many values? So it stores 8 values. Right. Answer is A. If A is the object of string class and its content is Ahmedabad, then what is the value of str dot length right so answer is a 9 question number 31 if a is object of the string class and its content is c is a language then what is the value of str length right so answer is b 15 Question number 32, what type of value it is uh, written when we use get method of calendar class with the constant month? Right, so answer is C integer. Right, then method to string returns dash data type. Right, so it will return a string data type. Then question number 34, it is method get time returns dash data type right so answer is long data type then question number 35 method cons uh, concat string space str returns dash data type then answer is b string right question number 36 it is what is the full form of gmt right it is greenwich mean time Okay, 37 in Java, dash is an object used to manage list of items. Answer is A, arrays. 38, the array max refers to dash locations where 5 integers values are stored. So, answer is B. Question number 39, the array variable max in square bracket 5 has an index value from dash and so its index value start from 0 to 4 right option b question number 4040 1d array is initialized using dash separated value of data elements in brackets right so answer is b comma separated then question number 41 instead of the writing the code various static methods provides by java using dash class can be used so answer is c java.util.arrays question number 42 to short an entire or part of array dash method can be used so answer is a short method then question number 43 it is in java two dimensional arrays can be declared using array name and two pair of dash to specify the size of the two dimensional row and column respectively then answer is b square brackets 
right question number 44 it is which of the following refers to the starting index value in arrays right answer is a 0 then what is the size of the second dimension in an array cells 5 by 12 so answer is b 12 question number 46 what will uh, expression cells dot length return for an array cells 5 by 12 so answer is 65 multiply by 12 okay next 47 when array cells 5 by 12 is declared without specifying initialize value what is the initial value of cells 0 0 right so answer is c it will display compilation error right and next question 48 it is what does length refer to for an object of the string class So answer is B method. Question number forty-nine. If str it is an object of the string class and its contained is thank God, then what is the value of str length? So answer is A. Question number fifty. What type of value is returned when we use get method of class calendar class with constant day of week as an argument so answer is a integer right so this is the end of uh, this chapter